Miyamoto Musashi lived in Japan in the 16th and 17th centuries, a time of civil war, political turmoil, and social change. He was born in a samurai family, but he never served any lord or clan. Instead, he chose to wander the land as a ronin, a masterless samurai who challenged and fought other swordsmen in duels. He is said to have fought over 60 duels in his life and never lost a single one. He also participated in several battles and wars where he displayed his extraordinary skills and courage. Musashi was not only a warrior, but also an artist and a scholar. He studied various disciplines, such as painting, calligraphy, sculpture, poetry, music, and Buddhism. He wrote several books on martial arts and strategy, the most famous of which is the Book of Five Rings, Go Rin No Sho, which is still widely read and admired today. In this book, he explained his philosophy of swordsmanship, which was based on the principles of Stoicism. Stoicism is an ancient school of philosophy that originated in Greece and Rome. The Stoics taught that the only thing that matters in life is virtue, which is the excellence of one's character and actions. They believed that everything else, such as health, wealth, fame, pleasure, and pain, are indifferent things, adiaphora, which are neither good nor bad in themselves, but only have value as material for virtue to act upon. The Stoics also taught that we should live in harmony with nature, which is governed by a rational and providential order, logos. We should accept everything that happens to us as part of this order and not complain or resist it. We should also control our emotions and desires and not let them disturb our peace of mind. Musashi applied these Stoic teachings to his own life and practice. He wrote, the way of the warrior is the resolute acceptance of death. He meant that a warrior should be ready to face death at any moment, without fear or regret. He should not be attached to his life or his possessions, but rather focus on his duty and his honor. He should also not be swayed by external circumstances or opinions, but rather follow his own reason and conscience. Musashi also wrote, the true way of swordsmanship is to fight with your opponent as if he were yourself. He meant that a warrior should not hate or despise his enemy, but rather respect him as a fellow human being. He should not be arrogant or overconfident, but rather humble and cautious. He should also not be distracted or disturbed by anything else, but rather concentrate on his own actions and reactions. Musashi lived most of his life alone. He did not have a family or a home. He did not have any friends or followers. He did not seek fame or fortune. He did not indulge in pleasures or comforts. He lived simply and frugally. He slept on the ground or in temples. He ate whatever he could find or beg. He wore ragged clothes or armor. He traveled by foot or by boat. Some people might think that Musashi was lonely or miserable. But he was not. He was free and happy. He chose to live alone because he wanted to pursue his own path of self-improvement and self-mastery. He did not need anyone or anything else to make him happy or fulfilled. He found joy and satisfaction in his own practice and learning. He wrote, There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Musashi's life shows us the power of loneliness and stoicism. Loneliness can be a source of strength and wisdom if we use it wisely. Loneliness can help us discover ourselves and our potential. Loneliness can help us develop our skills and talents. Loneliness can help us cultivate our virtues and values. Loneliness can help us achieve our goals and dreams. 
Embrace solitude. Solitude is not the same as loneliness. Solitude is the state of being alone by choice, while loneliness is the state of feeling alone by circumstance. Solitude is a positive and productive state, while loneliness is a negative and unproductive state. Solitude can help you focus on yourself and your work, while loneliness can distract you and make you unhappy. Solitude can help you find peace and clarity, while loneliness can create confusion and anxiety. Solitude can help you grow and improve, while loneliness can stagnate and deteriorate. Challenge Yourself One of the reasons why Musashi was so successful in his duels was that he constantly challenged himself to face stronger and tougher opponents. He did not settle for easy or comfortable fights. He did not avoid or run away from difficult or dangerous situations. He did not fear or regret the possibility of failure or death. Instead, he welcomed and embraced every challenge as a chance to test and improve his skills and spirit. Be self-reliant. Musashi did not depend on anyone or anything else for his survival or success. He did not rely on his family or clan for his identity or protection. He did not rely on his lord or master for his loyalty or service. He did not rely on his friends or followers for his support or validation. He did not rely on his possessions or wealth for his comfort or security. He did not rely on his fame or reputation for his pride or ego. He relied only on himself and his own abilities. Be adaptable. Musashi was able to adapt to any situation or environment he encountered in his travels and battles. He did not stick to one style or method of fighting. He did not follow any fixed rules or conventions of swordsmanship. He did not adhere to any rigid doctrines or dogmas of philosophy. He was flexible and versatile in his approach and strategy. He was open-minded and creative in his thinking and expression. So, be adaptable in your own life. Don't stick to one way or mode of living. Don't follow any fixed routines or habits of behavior. Don't adhere to any rigid beliefs or opinions of thought. Be flexible and versatile in your approach and strategy. Be open-minded and creative in your thinking and expression.